Hello guys, it's Delta249er here with a tutorial on how to optimize and clean your computer with CCleaner. I'm doing this because I've gone on friends' computers and other people's computers and I noticed that it's running slow and they even noticed that, right? Because that's not a really hard thing to notice. But then, they're like, I don't know why it's running slow. And I look at their desktop or like their internet browser or maybe I try to do a disk cleanup or something and <laughs> they have so much junk that it's just not funny in my opinion <laughs> so this is gonna help you clean that and it's I would say it's um, a bit better than the disk cleanup that comes with Windows I don't know if Mac has one something um, but it's kinda all in one and it's really good for cleaning well it's in the name C cleaner <clears throat> so you come it uh, is compatible with PC or Mac I'm going to show you the PC version and how to use that. I don't think the Mac version is much different, or at least I can assume it isn't. Uh, so you want to hit download, <clears throat> and it says download from File Hippo or Pureform. Uh, either one works. I usually do Pureform because they're already on the site, so might as well do that. And you have the release notes down here. Oh, and uh, the link will be in the description to this page. But it's uh, pureform.com slash ccleaner, but that'll be in the description, so you don't have to worry about typing that in. <clears throat> so once you've done that, you can come back to the video uh, once you install it, because it's like any other installer. Make sure you look at the checkboxes, because there's a few things, like add to Windows, uh, what is it, the shell, or like the Windows Explorer shell thing. Um, and that's just, it'll add it, uh, like a right click, if you right click, then it might be in the menu and it is all these things so just make sure you look at that <clears throat> and come back alright now that you have installed it uh, we're here in the program you can see right here it has the uh, the different information about your computer like operating system you have the processor ram and uh, whatever your graphics card is I think I don't know because I don't have a graphics card I'm running on a laptop so it's chipset but it's part of the motherboard so I don't know but uh, yeah just some information there and the build and uh, <coughs> here you can visit their site and over here you have cleaner registry tools and options in cleaner this is where um, this is kind of the disk cleanup of the program but it has a lot more options you can see you've got all the Internet Explorer um, things like temporary files, history, cookies, uh, recently typed URLs, index.dat, last download location, autocomplete form history, and save passwords all that stuff and it, uh, that works for just about every uh, internet browser and here you have Windows Explorer so like your jump lists and your network passwords and uh, when you search it'll come up with search autocomplete right there and the run and all these things and system you've got all these different uh, like memory dumps recycling bin clipboard DNS cache and um, log files shortcuts all that and here which is in the advanced zone <laughs> you have prefetch data uh, that's a if you know about it you can check that it's like a thing that helps your computer run faster as you use it certain programs more um, and free space and all that and I'll get into the wipe free space a little bit later and then you have applications here it's all the same thing but it's not broken down into these little categories and then you just hit analyze and or you can hit run if you not if you're not sure if you want to um, complete the cleaning just hit analyze if you wanna if you definitely know that you want to do it just hit run cleaner and it'll analyze and then run it um, at the same time you don't have to do anything else you just have to click one button and I forgot to mention this down here you have check for updates and over here you have online help 
into the next uh, button you have registry cleaner what this does is looks for all these things there's a whole bunch of them and it will <coughs> either delete them or fix them um, depending on what's going on with it and yeah so if you uninstall a program or a few programs it's probably good to do this because sometimes it leaves behind um, files that just you don't need and it might mess things up um, depending on how bad things get next one is tools you have another um, like Windows has you have an uninstall thing except this includes um, more programs like it it uh, looks in different places so if you can't find something in uh, the Windows uninstaller then you can just try to use this and you can also search for uh, different programs if you have a whole crap ton of programs and under startup here uh, you can disable things that start up with your computer as you can see I only have a few things and I've disabled all the other things um, and here you can disable uh, wow extensions I guess I think they're called extensions um, but little add-ons for Internet Explorer that may slow it down um, system restore you can delete system restores uh, not that one you can't delete the most recent one it, just for safety um, see latest one is disabled for safety uh, and you can remove the system restores if they're taking up too much room on your computer I usually don't do that but if you want to there you go drive wiper now this is up here it's at wipe free space and here um, you can wipe entire drive all data will be erased like that's basically a new start um, free space like it's kinda like a disk defragment but not as um, not as effective <laughs> sort of I don't know um, and then you can select the passes and wow 35 passes that might take a while um, and you can select the drives here <laughs> and have it wipe and options you have about which is down here you have the settings so any of the things that you um, checked in the installer if you don't want them anymore you can uncheck them here and secure deletion uh, normal I have it on normal that's the default I don't know secure <laughs> I guess it, it says it overwrites it um, so I don't know I haven't had any problem with it so don't think you need that um, then you have the drives here. Actually, this right here is what this is. So the options in oops, in here go with that cleaner thing. Uh, cookies, you can delete your cookies, um, and you can tell them which ones you want to keep. Include um, if you want certain files or folders to not be touched when it goes through its cleaning process you can I mean wow that's excluded right there um, if you I don't actually know I guess if it's um there's certain it doesn't go everywhere it searches in like certain folders so if there's another folder that's like a temp folder or something and you want to add it in here you can add it by using this and exclude is if there's something that you don't want to include in the cleaning maybe it's messing up the files uh, because I had that, a problem with that with a disk defragmenter and I had to exclude a few files and folders but maybe it's messing it up you can exclude it here in advanced um, results and detail delete it says only delete files in Windows 10 older than 24 hours that, that's another safety thing same with this hide warning messages close program after cleaning just all these extra settings and you can restore the default settings here and that's about it so if you have any questions leave a comment below um, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this tutorial or you found it helpful and I'll see you for my next tutorial